So these are water bombs. There's still some le water bombs left in the destroyer itself. And you can see the guns. You'll be talking about them later on. Gyret destroyer. Now this ship was made in US in 1946. It has attended to both Korean and Vietnam wars. Korean? Yes, and it has survived successfully. It joined our Navy in 1973 used as a banner ship to motivate and protect other Navy ships. The uh, weapons you see behind you are our water bombs. They were pressure uh, sensitive. sensitive and they used to explode in any pressure necessary. They were both used as mines or just thrown out to the water to hunt down submarines. Now these weapons were important against submarines because it used to cause submarine both physical and psychological harm. Now when we talk about psychological, we mean it used to stress out the crew because it couldn't be detected by the submarine. Because the sonar radars couldn't see it. So next to you we have Funfair Defense Systems. Now Funfair Defense Systems is an important defense and decoy system. When a submarine uh, launches its torpedo, these torpedoes follow the sound, the propeller sound of the ship. Now this system, however, creates its own sound in order to cheat and to deceive the torpedoes. These are thrown into the water to different sides and torpedoes, rather than the ship, goes to these machines and explode on them. Here we have our cannon. Now this 538 cannon is important. We have two of them on this ship, one in back and one in front. These cannons could aim into land targets, uh, air, targets. air targets as well, and sea targets. Yeah. However, above sea, not below sea. Yeah. It had a range of 17 kilometers and also 13 kilometers for short shot. It could turn around to left side, right side, and forward. Now from here, we are moving inside our ship. This one. All right, dear guests, right now we are in our gayret corner. Gayret means effort in Turkish. Uh, this name comes from Ottoman Empire. Mm -hmm. In 1910, yeah. Ottoman Empire bought four destroyer ships from the British Navy. Uh, however, they were, their price were too much high, too high. So the people, the folk, tried to help the empire by putting their own coin in these boxes, money boxes to support our Navy. For that, our Navy, our Empire, decided to call them Gayreti Vataniye, the effort of the homeland, to those ships. And Gayret, this ship, also, although new, was inspired by this action and called Gayret. Behind you, we have a model, we have a small model of our ship. as a gift to this ship. This ship has served us until 1995. In 1995, it was retired due to its technological capabilities. In 1997, it became a museum. Right around you, you can see the pictures uh, it joined during uh, the exercises it joined and witnessed during its time. We have also a picture of a working water bomb of its explosion. Now from here we are moving to our next part of the ship. Not sultans but models. Models of uniforms and dresses. You can see all the rows, the individual rows. Do you guys please follow our tour? Our Ottoman corner of this ship. On your right side you can see the Ottoman sailors' uniforms 
that were used on their time. On this side, this is the dress, the uniform that used was used by the Admiral Captain of the Ottoman Empire. Behind you, we have an officer's sword belonging to an Ottoman officer. Right next to him, we have also a helmet, an epaulette, and the flags, the banners that Ottoman sailors used to use. Now, these two models belong to our modern uh, soldiers. We, we wear white in the uh, summer season and black in the winter season. The whales we call palette, the blue whales we use, have three white stripes. Now each of these stripes have a meaning. Uh, these meanings are our sea victories, historical. First one is Koyun Adaları, won against the Byzantine Empire. Uh, second is Preveze, won against the Crusader Navy. And the third is Jarbe, one of our big victories against Crusader navies. Now we are moving to our next part. On this side we have modern uniforms of our current soldiers. The first one belongs to our officers and above ranks. Winter, winter uniform. The second one belongs to our sergeants and lower ranks. And the last one belongs to our pirates, soldiers like me. our navy. This one is important. It's called Kojatepe. It used to operate during the Cyprus peace war, peace operation, in our side. However, it was sank and destroyed by our own air forces. Now, this taught our navy a two important lesson. First one, not only the size and the weapon size of the ship matters, but also the intelligence, the agency. The intel if the intelligence is wrong, we can hit our own allies. The second is when the ship is uh, sailing and on the move, the crew is from now on uh, inside the ship waiting in order to prevent more casualties. It is done. Because uh, when this Koja Tepe was hit, the crew was outside, so it took the maximum damage to the personnel and to the ship. We are moving to our next room. The corner of this ship. Atatürk was a great leader for our nation. We have his pictures before his death and after. We have also newspapers from his timeline which were not destroyed and carefully put inside these glasses. Atatürk was a great leader for us and he valued sea forces deeply. This is why he named the first four submarines during our Republic times himself. He called them Batray, Saldray, Yildray and Atala. Each has its own meaning. Batray means to sink, Atalay means to charge, uh, Saldray means to attack, and Yildray means to tire, to tire the enemy. Now we are moving to our next room, this one. Also see knots on our way. The sailors' knots. The kitchen. Delicious. Uh, 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, right now we are in our combat operation system, uh, combat operation center. Now this was uh, an important part of our ship because of its intelligence. The thing you see here on this table, there used to be a map. On this map, the crew used to argue where the uh, enemy submarines could have been. So they used to make plans against potential enemies and their locations. Oh, these here. tools, on this, on this, yes, okay. on these tables. These ones, these machines, please watch here. These machines were compasses. They used to be used for our next destination. The screens you see there used to show the situation of our allies and enemies and our current uh, ship. Now this ship was retired due to its technology in 1995. However, during its time, during the Cold War, it has one, it had one of the most significantly advanced technology compared to other warships. Uh, the personnel on the bridge used to ask permission to enter to this room. We have a radars, we have radar seats and machines on these rooms, and other electrical devices for defense and attacking. One compass was used for plants, one for current situation, and although, uh, for example, one of them breaks, uh, the other one used to be a backup. Okay. Now we are moving to our next destination, Imagine the bridge. This, the bridge was used during its maneuvers. The captains, the commanders used to be here, the officers. Here we have the helm personnel who used to control the helm of this ship. By these pipes, the commands used to be shouted to the other parts of the ship. Yes, these two pipes. These are the compasses used during the maneuvers. And these, these machines used to be uh, a kind of a communication system to the engine room. The choice we made here by the commander used to be light up in the engine room mm -hmm. and decided which speed to go. Oh, nice. okay. Yes. The ship's speed was decided here. What is this? Uh, these two belong to our compass. It has meaning. Yeah. The green means commander and the red means less ranking officers and soldiers. Now, on the other side, we have the commander's seat. Now, this seat is important due to uh, sea customs. No one used to sit on this seat, not even it was empty, when it was empty, due to respect to the commander and to the captain. This seat, on the other side, was used by the officers and other ranks, other commanders, less ranking than the main commander. Besides that, we have a uh, rope here. This rope, this yellow rope, was used by the personnel when the sea had too much waves and the ship was shaking, they used to hold on to those ropes to not to fall down. Besides that, we have supporting gear in our guard rope. We have weapons and lanterns inside it. And this table was used for the maps. Navigation. Navigation, indeed. Now we are moving to our next destination inside this ship. Gentlemen, we are right now in Iskele Kırlangıç, left side, left above side of this ship. As you can see, there is an E letter on this ship, the yellow one. Now, E letter was given as a reward. This ship has participated in both Korean and Vietnam wars successfully. E, meaning excellent, was given to this ship as a gift due to its good performance. Now we are moving to our tour, this one. important object is right behind you. It is called Astrock Launcher. 
Now this launcher used to have torpedoes inside it. It used to take at least eight torpedoes. These torpedoes were designed against submarines and other battleships. This uh, machine had a radius, a firing radius of 10 kilometers. Uh, we, the circle we see here was important for our crew. This ship was controlled here in this room, but could turn 360 degrees around itself. While this was working, the crew wouldn't pass the circle for their own safety, or else they could have been injured or worse, die. <laughs> the boat you see next to you was called lifeboat, John Saldar. A lifeboat was important for our destroyer. Since this is a big ship, it couldn't just uh, come nearby any shore. It couldn't park to any shore. So these lifeboats were used to carry supply and the crew mm. to the ne near shore. When entering. Uh, the captain, the commander, used to enter first. Uh, okay. Excuse me, used to enter last. last. First of all, the privates and low-ranking soldiers used to enter first. The commander used to enter last, so the commander wouldn't be kept waiting. And when, uh, when in the exit of this boat, the commander used to exit first. And then the other ranks used to exit this ship exit this boat so the commander wouldn't be kept waiting now our next destination is the helicopter parking space of our warship yes this area was used by the choppers allied choppers and helicopters both civilian and military used to park here used to land on this area these pipes you see was carrying fuel. So if the choppers uh, needed, required fuel, they could have been supplied by this ship. This ship could also take supply by other ships and other devices, military devices. It is important that this ship, this military ship, is one of its first of its kind, which could use, which could supply fuel uh, during maneuvers. Not on the harbor, but during maneuvers on the sea. Now we are going to move to our next ship this way. We have a third one. Yes, yes. All right, this is the second uh, museum vlog. I'm moving on to the third one, so make sure you guys subscribe and turn on notifications for that third vlog. See ya. Please watch your